dozen bottlenose dolphins swim in the Adriatic Sea near the Croatian island of Lošin. They're being observed by biologists monitoring their recovery since Yugoslavia's dolphin cull back in the 1960s. If we take good photos, then we can recognize every single one of them. Then we can calculate all the population parameters, you know, to estimate the size of the population, the trends, is it increasing, decreasing, how many calves do mothers have, uh, how successful they are in surviving. Their observations suggest that the dolphin population here is pretty healthy, with nearly 200 dolphins in this colony. A few hours later, the scientists returned to dry land to process the data collected at sea. But the Blue World Institute isn't just a laboratory, it's a marine education centre, open to anyone who wants to find out more about life underwater. We are studying their biology and ecology, but uh, it doesn't make much sense if we don't communicate this towards the public, which should of course end up in the conservation of uh, not only bottlenose dolphins, but the marine environment in general. It's a message that needs to be heard by Croatia's summer tourists, many of whom come to see the dolphins swimming around its coastline. Not swimming with them, not touching with them, just leave them and uh, observe them. And it's very important to know that uh, you have to lower your speed down and not to go directly in into the dolphins because then they can maybe think that you are some sort of predator and then they feel very stressed and they are very sensitive to stress. So the message is simple, do not disturb, not just to protect these dolphins but also to protect the entire biodiversity of the Adriatic Sea.